Um, because <laughs> you're cooking yourself. That's fine. You do you do you, girl. Um, but anyway, so when I actually was getting diagnosed with a uh, Hashimoto's autoimmune disease, I had severely, severely low vitamin D. Severely low. Ah, chaos. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And actually, it's better because I started taking this vitamin D from my doctor. My vitamin D was so low that I was prescribed vitamin D for six months. And I don't have Hashimoto's. I was on the cusp of having it, um, but I did. And I find out tomorrow I do have a um, I do have a lump in my throat and I had so. Hopefully it's benign. It either means I have a viral infection, bacterial infection, cancer, benign, or autoimmune disease. So we'll see. But I only really started to get really unhealthy. I used to eat really healthy. Then the pandemic happened and I started ordering so much takeout food, right? And that's when my health declined. Like, I swear to God. Uh, enjoy dinner. Yes, I'm streaming. Give me a little bit and I'll help you with it. Yeah, I know it does suck, but that's okay. That's all right. I want to find the thing about Tylenols and stuff for you guys. Make it right. I did order so much junk food, like so much. Okay, here's a good one that I like. Uh, thank you, Broken Spokes. Thank you. Right, right, Chris? I need to, it's just so good. What's also mind boggling is the lack of fiber in the average American diet. Pasquale, I actually take fiber every day because I I the same thing. There is no fiber in my diet. I have to take it. Thank you for the posture check, Charles. At least you did something you enjoyed. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that gets better, Paul Aviv. I thought Teflon was one of the most chemically inert compounds because of the fluoride bonds. Either way. Dihydrogen monoxide, monoxide is actually documented to kill so many people every year. This is wild that we don't bring it up. It is never part of the conversation. <laughs> now, seriously, I bet most of the problem in the U.S. is sugar slash obesity as citizens. Objectively, my real life sample of seeing people with health problems almost 100 percent involves being fat as fuck in soft drinks. OK, well, I shouldn't say fat as fuck. Is that just I think saying the word fat, I think just adds a negative that's not needed to the situation. You can say unhealthy. I think there's better terms because I think also like saying saying that stuff is bad is bad. Um, but it's actually not sugars that are so bad. I mean, the sugars are bad in America, but the biggest problem, the biggest problem we have are the oils or all the fake oils that we use, the substitution substitution oils. That's actually the biggest problem for us. That's the biggest problem in that that leads to a lot of this issue. Sugar is very high up there, but it's the fatty oils, yeah. They're in everything, they're in everything. It's 
See, that's good, Meg. 